Now looking at this, as I said, it's on page 178 in your textbook. You see the um, flower up here at the top. You've got the stigma style and ovary, and then you've got the anther and the filament on that flower. And the anthers make the pollen sacs. That's where the pollen, the microspore, develops. Um, and the ovule, of course, that's going to be the megaspore that's going to develop as well. And you're going to have one megaspore and three, well, actually four megaspores. One of them will become the egg. The other three are going to disintegrate. But those uh, megaspores, uh, you end up, or microspores, you end up with the pollen grains, the male gametophyte, and you em end up with the egg cell, which is the female enclosed in this embryo sac, gametophyte. And so pollination happens where the pollen lands on the stigma, and it grows this pollen tube that comes down, and it unites with the egg and double fertilization occurs one of the sperm will uh, fertilize the egg the other sperm will join with the polar nuclei that are there and become a 3N or a triploid endosperm and so that ovule will develop inside the seed, and it has the embryo in it, um, and it's also got the endosperm in it, and so it's going to be nourished by that endosperm. So look closely at that. But the embryo sac down here that you have, it's going to have seven cells in it. One of them's the egg, and the rest of them are not. They are just going to be the polar nuclei. 